Carrie. Yes. What is the first rule of book club? Don't let anyone join the book club. Don't be silly now. The whole purpose of book club is that so that anyone can enjoy book club. Even the guy who bullied you every day of your middle school career? <laughs> oh, 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 you mean Richard DeMarco? Mm-hmm. Sure, he can join, but, uh, you know, uh, he's probably swimming with the fishes right now. But you know what? If he's if he's in a witness protection program, sure. All right. Have at it. The book I wanted to mention was uh, Stanley Carnow's In Our Image. Oh, yeah. I remember that one. Yeah. We talked talked a little bit about it. I mentioned mm-hmm. it in a previous show in the context of the Philippines and the typhoon that hit. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I always like to take on these kinds of books as projects. Uh, for example, if there's a topic I'm not too familiar with, to begin with, I can find one book and after spending some time with it, have a comfortable understanding of the topic. And, uh, you know, Philippines is one of those, is one of those areas, is one of those topics. And I knew in high school, you know, Taft, the, mm-hmm. our, our, uh, the president that came after uh, Teddy Roosevelt, uh, he, he, before he was president, he was the governor of the Philippines. And I knew that he went to the hot and sweaty Philippines and he didn't, it, it didn't help him take, a, take off any weight. He still weighed 300 pounds when he right. came back. Um, and I knew Manila, you know, I, you know, Manila is the capital of the Philippines and that's where Manila folders come from. Are you serious? <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was... <laughs> but, but no, now, just... now because of uh, Carno's, Carno's book, I, I know so much more and, uh, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it, it's, it's a good read and it's, it's well written. Um, mm-hmm. uh, he's not really a, a historian that, uh, oh, uh, you know, like a David McCullough or somebody like that, that, you know, that takes on long projects. And mm-hmm. he, I, I think he was, he was a diplomat, uh, who was very close to the Philippines in the eighties during the Marcos years and, and uh, Corazon Aquino when she took over and, and he was and he was connected to Reagan and, and a lot of the diplomatic corps there, and so uh, and and he had some scholarly background. So I think he just found a topic that was yeah. you know he just wanted to essentially write a, a, a memoir and a good comprehensive study of of the Philippine Islands. Right. And I think it's a I think it's a a fine book, a a, a good read. I'm yet to get all the way through it <laughs> <laughs> because there's so it's seg- yeah. it's so segmented because okay. it's broken into the. You know, into the early history, uh, the you know, like the Native history, and then the uh, Spanish uh, American War, mm-hmm. and then and then some of the some of the diplomatic or, or uh, uh, oh, I guess you could say American imperialist uh, attitudes that, that that came after that, and it's and it's of particular interest because um, I, f- I find it interesting because I found the book interesting because it, uh, it addresses American. I'm, Quoting imperialism, yeah. Okay. yeah, quote unquote imperialism, and Carno says numerous times in the book. He says, you know, you can call it imperialism, you can call Americans imperialist, uh-huh. but <laughs> compared to other countries that were imperialistic at close. the time, they, it, no, it's not. It's not even. It's not the same thing. They were much, much more. I mean, there, now there were inhumane things that happened and, and atrocities committed by Americans. Oh yeah, absolutely. But uh, uh, comparatively, I mean, you know, wow, we were we were miles ahead. So yeah. 